there are so many characters in this game that like clearly know a lot more about what's going on than we do. And we, we get these cutscenes with them, like with Egil and with Aineth or whatever, and with um freaking Alvis and the woman he's working with. And even Dixon, I feel like Dixon knows more than he's letting on. Like he's always like working off of knowledge we don't know about. <sighs> I don't know, man. There's a lot. There, I just I can't wait to like uncover all the mysteries. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. There are <laughs> Our armor's blocking his face. When the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynard fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynard? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. What? <laughs> so. Fiora has the, the Maconis itself inside of her? Talk like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Maconis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we high end here live far longer than Homs. I get that, but you can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynath herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mechonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven, but Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil, but why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis' weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. Huh? Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. Like that line, Zanza. That's just what it is. It's like, just to remind you, there's more going on you don't know about. <laughs> All right, back to the story. You know? <laughs> also, so if Lady Maynith is the Maconis, or the creator of the Maconis, or the Maconis itself, that stands to reason that there should be a Bionis equivalent, right? If Lady Maynith is the Mechonis, who is the Bionis? Is it the Monado? Like, the Monado is the Bionis' sword. But is there a person that we've met? Because we've explored almost all of the Bionis. Is there a person that we've met that is secretly the Bionis? She has done well to survive such injury. And who would it be? What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. And I have to think about this. 
We don't know much about Mayneth. I feel like we need to learn more about Mayneth before I can make that jump. But that said, there are only so many characters that are even contenders, right? Um, number one would have to be Alvis. I I'm voting Alvis. That dude is super shady and super secretive. And he knows way too much. And he knew how to use the Monado, like it was nothing. And he knew things about the Monado that, like, oh, like, that they could do that we didn't even know. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that would mean for the story, though. Speaking of the story and, like, the high empty and stuff, too, like, that whole plot line with the first consort has just completely been dropped, right? <laughs> like, it's, I don't think it's even coming back up at this point. Maybe she's just happy that her son is, like, ruling the high end, you know? I don't know. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Oh. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shaw. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora. Does this mean that when we were fighting with Fiora earlier, she was weakened? Because if so, I can't wait to see you upgraded Fiora. Leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. Looks like the other Machina, like her, also have, like, the wing things on their back. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... But where? What do you mean, where? The island's crawling with Mechon, Shulk! Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mechon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. Yeah, I just realized, when they were saying Digit 1, Digit 2, Digit 5, Digit 1 beach or whatever, Digit 1 crevice, Digit 5 beach, I, I was thinking, like, computers, right? Like, like binary or something, digits. I just realized it's a hand. They're talking about the fingers, right? <laughs> All right. Look at a heart to heart here. Oh wow, brother and sister. Gotta get all the way up. Yeah. I'll be here if you are. Hurry up and bring the Pfizer Electric Unit. All right, so we lost Charlotte too. That's fine. We don't need Charlotte. Let's um. You work on Ryan a little bit, I guess. Actually, Ryan and Shulk are maxed out on Affinity, aren't they? Let's put Dumban back in. So we're still, you know, working on Affinities with everybody. And while we're here, let's check this out for a second.
I don't know how much time I want to spend on this right now. I'm just, I know I've been neglecting it. These should be like super easy at this point. Now we got an S on that one. Let's knock this one out super fast. Still go fast if I do these. Yeah, I believe in the other ones they actually set your level. Here is little something. Captain's here. Meh. <laughs> I've been waiting. Debonair set, so I don't see that's probably like a vanity set, you know, just to, so you can look different. Worker set, Aerith skirt, water boosters. Oh, so that one's actually got something for um our dear Mechon friend. So these restricted ones, I think they actually, yeah, they actually set your level. So us being high level won't matter. Once again, festival stuff, pineapple, starch, yeah, these are all just for the most part, things to make you look different. And once again, we got a set for uh, uh, Fiora there. And then we have the Nopon Stone. What do we do with the Nopon Stone? Oh, you can trade items. Rank four gems. You buy these at no pun stone, okay. I'm just, I'm just not gonna worry about this until late game, I think. We get to the end game and we're maxing out our characters and trying to get the best gems and stuff, maybe we'll need to do that, but right now I just don't see much reason to do that. I'd rather move on with this story. Now we got any more quests here? Not at the moment. Alright. Let's head out. How's it going? Arlos. Got another Homs down here. How's it going? He fell from the sword. Okay. He woke up, he was here. I guess I'm not going to help me out. That's interesting. Okay, so has he been here like since the Battle of Sword Valley or something? Hi there. I see this woman around from time to time collecting bits and pieces. What is she doing? Why pick stuff up when you can bury it? What? <laughs> There's nothing like a decent burial. Burying stuff makes it all go away. It's like it never existed. Interesting guy. I want to hit up this uh, heart to heart over here, I think. But Yeah, we can teleport back. Let's go. 
Oh, this is back where they were. Okay, I know where I am now. Never mind. This is where, um, Ryan and Melia and Ricky were. What was this hard to heart here? Okay. That'll be a while. What's that building over there? Like across to here. Hmm. All right, let's go here to start off. Got a bunch of stuff we can take out. I put their anti-mech on weapons back on, so when we get to mech on, it shouldn't be as big of a deal. Working to fix that broken door. Alright. Get some more around here. It's interesting that the chief here who is Egil's father, has been, like, exiled to this broken hand floating in the water outside of the Mechonis. He's not even on the Mechonis proper anymore. Like, who's left that's actually serving Egil other than the Mechon? Are there, is there a contingent of Machina that are actually on his side? Oh, right there. Hello. I didn't even see you. Can't get my positioning on this guy. There we go. Oh, lost me here. A little rough, but that's okay. It's okay. Let's see. No more quest items around here, huh? Got another quest back in town. Right, so this is digit one. Level 80 named guy up there. We'll leave him alone for now. Alright, so that's digit one. Let's head over this way. A second ago. All right, so Mikhaus, we can kill. Everyone, let's go. I expect nothing short of our very best. Make it a swift victory. Minato, lend us your power. Electric Duffluster. Yeah. Backslash. Shadow Arc. Steel Strike. Backslash. Good job, everyone. But we mustn't be careless. Nice. Let us remain vigilant. Let's go! 
I expect nothing short of our very best. Don't hold back. We can Something definitely do this. Electric gas yeah. lost. We move at the same pace. I'm looking forward to the results. Better See your split edge. Oh. The ether this is so through me. Major edge. Let us begin to summon Aqua. Okay, let's finish summon it. Take a breath. We win. But we cannot be reckless. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Hey, we got everything we need for that broken door for him. Um, I keep going around. Oh, just made a bunch of friends, didn't we? Stop there. No oh, well. can oppose us. We did it. So you gotta work on getting this chain to last longer. The weak spot. Melia, magnificent attack. Yeah, nice going. Things are going to plan. Now perfect for a chain attack. I shall all my ether. It's over. We are getting the chain attack up, up a lot faster with this group. This isn't pushing you at all. I don't know if that's because they're getting used to fighting with each other and they have good affinity, or if it's because of different skills we have now. But it definitely feels like it's getting easier to get the chain attack gauge filled up with them. It's a quest up on that one. I don't see a good way to get up there from here, though we need to go over and come across those bridges, it looks like. Hopefully we can get a landmark over on this side. I want to go back and get that quest from town, too. In case it's something that we're just going to be walking around by anyways. Right! Let's do this! Display no mercy! Make it a swift victory! All together now! Let us exhibit our strength, Shulk! Alright, good job everyone. Through. Let us remain vigilant. But we mustn't be careless. Summon Earth! Dream Edge! Summon Earth! Let's focus our efforts. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Electric duck now! Use a chain attack and finish this! Roger! How's that? Me. Shoot! That's the spirit! Everyone! Let's go! And we stop. Damn. Bravo. Oh, bravo. We did it. Against the odds. Just like that. Done bad. Awesome. Leave this to me. Summon Aqua. Good job, everyone. But we mustn't be careless. I see your strength is the genuine article. All right. Like, looking at some of the skills that we get, I feel like getting all those skills and getting the affinity ups, we get the skill links, and then getting higher level gems, we get really start to get some crazy synergies going there. That's probably what in-game bosses is going to be all about. Equipment doesn't really give you much of anything other than a little bit of defense and slots for your gems. Look at these guys. Let's take these out. Everyone, let's go. I expect nothing short of our very best. Leave this to me. Ah, Thank 
No, 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 run for it. Fight. <laughs> Get there eventually. That was a crappy one. Can us. I didn't do what I meant to do there. We can definitely do this. Electric Summon. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. Focus on this. You never stood a chance. But we right. cannot be reckless. Not bad. Not bad at all. They're getting AP and XP and everything a lot faster now too. So like, yeah, we're getting. The ability to level these things up a lot more. I have a level summon earth up some more now. Now we have everybody back in the party. And check to make sure all the yeah, okay, I knew he was getting close. Very close. Alright, almost have that one. Some people are you know, already working on their last one. Miss it? Dang it. That was fast. First, assuming the dumb band is going to come around again. Get ready. Acknowledge. You must suffer more. Okay, my turn. Bam, yeah. Getting the multiplier up and then doing the backstab is just a huge amount of damage. Just like old times. What we get? Okay. 
Well, we got the Pizer Electric Kit. <clears throat> Wasn't that bad. What else do we got going on? We got to go back over here to where we landed. I want to go across this bridge and over to here for this quest, but also to see if I can get a landmark along the way. Let's see if we can get some kind of way to teleport back over this area. 